In the tier two web-based streaming space, EV Mux has made a huge splash and I'm excited to share some tutorials on how best to use the platform. In case you don't know, I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at EV Mux, account setup, understanding the dashboard, projects, and sessions. <laughs> So here we are on my desktop and to get started, you're going to want to go to evmux.com. Now, full disclosure, if you use the link that's in the description, kirkrnugent.live slash evmux, it will bring you to the same page, but they it will let evmux know that you came through my site, came through my channel, came through my link, and they will give me credit for that. And sometimes that credit does amount to a dollar amount that they send me. And I would truly appreciate it if you use my link. But however you get there, you're on this page to set up your account. And so what you wanna do is click on sign up rather than sign in. If this is brand new for you, you wanna click on sign up rather than sign in. And some of you already have set it up. Some of you already have EVMUX. You've got the trial version when it first dropped. Or maybe you're one of the guys who were in that first session that we had when, uh, when we had that live test with over 100 people watching and we had some of the EV Mux guys even join us live. It was pretty awesome. So here you would click on sign up for all my folks who were signing up for the first time. When After you click on sign up, you'll get to a screen similar to this one and the sign up you need to, you can, you can sign in with Google. Uh, I don't recommend that, but I'm just saying you can sign in with Google. Um, I'm putting my son's name here because I've already created a account for myself. So we've got Carson, we've got first name, last name, company, composition, LLC. You want to put your email address, right? Right here, you want to put your email address. You want to put in a password that you can remember something strong and you want to check this box to verify you're not a robot and then register your account. Once you have that done, you will receive an email at the email address that you set up here in the email section asking you to verify your email address. Once you click to verify your email address, your account is essentially set up and you, you will come to a screen just like this one where they're wanting you to create your first project. So I'm going to just call this uh, Carson project. And that is what we'll call it just to get started. You'll notice on the screen also that there are some options for single broadcast, which is the fast access to the studio and then a multiple session event, which is a little more complex for conferences. EVMUX stands for events multiplexer, right? So their, their origin story comes out of the events industry. So they know exactly how to help us set up Multi, you know, multi-session events. So that option is here as well. So you want to make sure you select that project based on what you want to do for this first one. I use projects based on the, the, the series of live shows that I have either for myself or for clients or depending on the brand that I'm using. I, I usually use my projects in that way. So we'll show you some examples of that as we go along. Um, once I click on single broadcast, which is what I'm selecting here, and that's what I'm recommending for most of us to select is single broadcast. Um, we can click go to studio and you'll notice right away that that's going to take us into the studio. Um, and we're going to get into the studio and some of the functions and features of that in another video. I'm going to click allow here to allow my microphone and camera, but we are going to leave the studio alone for right now. So just together, <laughs> let's go ahead and close the studio out. And you'll notice that the other tab that we were on before where we created this Carson project that has now changed to the dashboard. The dashboard is where we want to kind of hang our hat for a little bit. So this is what the dashboard looks like. Um, in this brand new account that I've created. And it is a free plan that, that we're looking at right here. Uh, so you have the dashboard you're seeing on the side, you have speakers, sessions, settings, 
all of them are here and we're gonna go through some of those in just a second. But I did wanna come here to the top where you can click on where it says view all projects. When you select that, it takes you up one level and you can see that right now there's only one project. Now, now that we've taken a look at this, I wanna show you some functions and features um, on the dashboard that you can't really see here um, because this is an account that I just created. But I do wanna mention real quick, before we go over to my account, so this is Carson's account, my son's account, we're gonna go over to my account. Um, but before we do that, I did wanna mention here that you can click on your name and avatar in the top right corner right here. You can click on that to update your profile. You can put things in there like your business name, your, your title, sir, Mr., Mrs., doctor. You can add a picture of yourself as well. And some of those things come into use when you start adding team collaborators, when you start adding members, when you start adding speakers to your broadcast. And we'll get into those in other videos in this series. So keep that in mind as well as we get ready to transition over to my account where I have a couple of projects set up and a number of sessions set up. Let's go. So now we're on my account. We're on my account. We're looking at uh, my, uh, you see in the top corner, it says Kirk Nugent now, it's no longer Carson. You're seeing Composition, which is the name of the business. This is the business that my wife and I run. We have several employees, but this is the business. And so under that, we have, uh, what well, we click the down arrow, I should say, right? If we click the down arrow, you have how it all works is an additional project, right? So remember we talked about keeping those brands or client projects separate. So I have several clients that I, I do work for, but I didn't wanna show them to you. But these are the two that I felt comfortable putting into the video. You can click view all projects. And again, it's gonna take you back to that main screen where you have recent projects at the top. You will also see them listed on the bottom here as well. So I've got composition um, and how it all works as my projects. And it shows you who's, who's it created by. And if you have a lot of projects, you can easily search um, this, I, I haven't seen anybody that has had to use that function just yet, but wanted to make sure you understand what these are. If you have a project that you're completely done with, now I wanna make sure that you understand what this means. You can hit this checkbox right here. You can check this box and delete it. You can delete it um, and, and you can do that that way. Or you can mark it, right? Which allows you easier access uh, to that project, you're basically favoriting it. If you have like 20 projects, you can definitely favorite it here. Um, so I'm actually going to select the How It All Works project. You can see that it changes the screen. So now I'm in the How It All Works project and you can hit this down arrow again. And instead of clicking view all projects, which would allow me to see both the How It All Works and composition projects, I can click on new project. And you come right back to this same screen again, where it asks you to give it a name and then you can open the studio. Now, what I want you to understand that even though that it immediately takes you into a studio, what the pro when you create that project, it's actually not only creating a project, but it's also creating a session within that project. You, you have the project itself, which is your brand, which ha maybe it's your for a client, maybe it's for yourself, maybe it's for your business. And then you have sessions within that project and the sessions within that project are studios. So we're going to get into that in just a second. So now we're going to leave this alone. We're going to stay in the How It All Works project. Let's go down to sessions. All right, so now we're in How It All Works Project and you have that, you know, kind of breadcrumb. I love this, you know, so it shows you, okay, we're in sessions, we're in the How It All Works, and then we're in, in these, these different sessions. So this is the sessions section. So these are the titles of my sessions, but this is actually the project. So How It All Works is the project. You can see that on the side here. So this is How It All Works is the project. This is the sessions. And in my How It All Works Project, I have an Amazon Live session, I have a midweek huddle session and I have a how it all works live session. So I have three different sessions and those sessions are, have corresponding studios and recordings. So all your recordings are done by your sessions. And I also wanna mention that your assets are all grouped by your session as well. So your sessions have 
your your assets in them your sessions also have speakers that you may have assigned to a particular session we'll get into that in a later video but i wanted to give you this overview of the dashboard of the projects and of sessions in this first video of our series on ev mux so you have these things here and i did want to go into the a studio for you to be able to see how that now manifests itself so you can kind of get a feel for what this looks like i'm going to change this uh back to a camera that actually works and you can see what this looks like in the studio i am in the in the how it all works live session which is under the how it all works project now i know that's a little confusing but Right here at the top, you can also select a different session and it, which would be a different corresponding studio. So I'm gonna click on midweek huddle and boom, I am in the midweek huddle. Now I'm in the midweek huddle. Um, the, the assets have changed, right? So I don't have the same assets as I had when I was in How It All Works. And I'm I'm looking at the midweek huddle. And of course, your broadcast channels, all those things will change based on the session that you're in, based on the project that you're in. So keep that in mind as well. I'm gonna go down here and go to Amazon Live. And yet again, you can see that this has changed. This is, this is actually a destination that has been set up to as RTMP to go to Amazon Live. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You can see some of the assets have changed as well because I'm now in an, a, a different session within this project. And that basically gets us through all of the different things that you would need to know to fully understand uh, dashboard, the projects and the sessions in EVMUX. That was a lot, but let's, let's go through a quick recap. Number one, set up your account using our affiliate link in the description kirkrnugent.live slash evmux. <laughs> I want to say a word of thanks to you. And number two, verify your email address and, you know, make it your own. Update your profile, add a picture, all that stuff. Number three, create a project which I use for different brands I manage for myself and for clients. And then lastly, number four, inside those projects, you'll set up sessions, which are the reusable studios for each show you have under a brand. In a later video, we'll look at the EV Mux way to add team members and collaborators. Learn more about EV Mux in these videos.